Hey everyone, and welcome to Uptown Christiansburg, formerly the New River Valley Mall in Christiansburg, Virginia. Today we will be taking a look at a mall that has an overall welcoming appearance and a beautiful ski lodge center court. So sit back and relax and let's tell the full history of the New River Valley Mall. In 1985, in Christiansburg, Virginia, two mall developers wanted to build malls in the area. Goodman Seeger Hogan Incorporated of Norfolk, Virginia, was looking into constructing a mall at a 68-acre site at US 460 and Virginia Route 144. Crown American Corporation of Johnstown, Pennsylvania was planning on building a mall on the other side of town at a rezoned 46-acre plot of land at a site bordering Interstate 81 and Roanoke Road. The companies decided to joint venture and construct a mall at the Goodman Seeger Hogan site, which had been in planning for two years prior. The mall would be called the New River Valley Mall. Coming in at 456,000 square feet, the mall would have four anchor stores and 90 inline tenants. The mall would cost around $42 million to build. Hess's, J.C. Penney, and Leggett were announced to be the mall's first three department stores. Leggett would close their stores in Blacksburg, downtown Christiansburg, and Radford to move into their new spot. In November 1987, it was announced that Sears signed on as the mall's fourth anchor. Not only would the mall include four anchor stores, but it would also feature a multi-screen movie theater and a food court. Construction of the mall would be in two phases. The first phase would include a construction of three department stores and 75 smaller stores with the movie theater and food court. The second phase would include the fourth department store and around 15 to 20 smaller stores. The mall would have a completion goal of spring 1988. On Wednesday, March 9, 1988, the New River Valley Mall would hold its grand opening at 10 a.m. with J.C. Penney, Hess's, and 26 smaller stores. Leggett would open on April 20th that same year, and Sears would open up on August 3rd with smaller stores filling up the mall gradually over the coming months. The mall would hold events to celebrate the grand opening, and Hess's would hold events with celebrities and soap opera stars for their grand opening ceremonies. The Deb Shop, John Norman, Kinney Shoes, Foot Locker, Hot Sam Pretzels, Claire's, Lily Crown's Jewelers, k and &K Toys, Jolly Time Arcade, Regis Hair Salon, GNC, and Walden Books were just some of the stores featured on opening day.
In October 1988, it was announced that Crown American would buy out the Goodman Seeger Hogan partnership in the mall and become the sole owner for $21 million. On February 28, 1993, it was announced that Hess's would close after the announcement came that it would close its remaining stores in Virginia. The Hess's store at the New River Valley Mall would close in early May 1993. On May 18, 1993, it was announced that Peebles would be opening in the recently vacated Hess's spot. Peebles would hold their grand opening on Thursday, September 16, 1993. In November 1996, Belk purchased Leggett, and in January 1997, Belk began adding its name to all of the Leggett stores. In November 2003, Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust, or Priot for short, merged with Crown American Corporation, making Priot the mall's new owner. On Wednesday, February 18, 2004, it was announced that Peels would shutter in April that year. In January 2006, it was announced that the mall would be undergoing redevelopment and renovations. A Red Robin restaurant will be built as an out parcel, and Regal Cinemas will build a brand new 14 screen theater out parcel and leave the interior mall. Dick Sporting Goods would be joining the mall by demolishing the former people's space and building a new store with mall access. It was also announced that the mall's interior will be remodeled with new skylights, flooring, paint, a new center court with a ski lodge feel, featuring a working fireplace and a new, hokey-style stone mall entrance would be constructed. At this time, Priot also made known that it was planned to construct a power strip center adjacent to the mall. In February 2006, it was announced that New River Community College is looking to open a satellite campus and the space soon to be vacated by Regal Cinemas. In June 2006, work started on the new out parcel Regal Cinemas and Dick's Sporting Goods started to take shape. 
On Sunday, October 15, 2006, Dick Sporting Goods would hold their grand opening. In April 2007, Regal Cinemas would open their new 14-screen theater. It would have much better features in the theater and the mall, like stadium seating and a much larger lobby. In June that same year, the Power Strip tenants were announced by Priya to be Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, Old Navy, Olive Garden, Panera Bread, PetSmart, Ross Dress for Less, Bainfield, Staples, and Shoe Carnival. In January 2012, Belk started expanding and remodeling in a $2.4 million renovation for their store at the mall. And on Wednesday, October 10, 2012, Belk held a grand reopening celebration for their newly remodeled store. In April 2013, a shooting occurred at the New River Community College, which wounded two women. After this tragic event, later that same month, it was announced that Sears would be closing as a part of a company plan to reduce expenses. Liquidation sales will begin May 3rd and the liquidation was expected to end in mid-July. The Sears store at New River Valley Mall would close for the final time on Sunday, July 14, 2013. In March 2015, it was announced that Kohl's signed a lease with the mall to open a store in the space formerly occupied by Sears. Kohl's would eventually open on Friday, March 4th, 2016, with a big welcoming. In late March 2016, Preet would sell four non-core and underperforming properties collectively for $92.4 million. In this deal, New River Valley Mall would be sold to Farlon Capital Management LLC of San Francisco for $27 million. CBL Associates of Chattanooga, Tennessee would oversee management of the property. On Friday, March 17, 2017, it was announced that JCPenney would close as a part of a plan to close 138 stores nationwide. The store will close in September that same year. In January 2018, it was announced that Planet Fitness would open up in the expanded portion used by Sears. Planet Fitness would not use a mall entrance, however, and only rely on exterior access. In late 2018, it was announced that Kirkland's Home Decor, Alta Beauty, and Home Goods would subdivide to fill the former JCPenney space, and Wonder Universe, a children's hands-on museum, would open in late 2019 in the former Charlotte Russe and the now completely vacated food court. Home Goods would open on March 10, 2019 with Alta and Kirkland's following soon after. In fall 2019, Farallon Capital Management sold the mall to Rockstep Capital for $21.6 million. With the sale of the mall, Rockstep would pull their unoriginal name card out of their pocket and rename the mall to Uptown Christiansburg in July 2020. Rockstep Capital currently owns properties throughout the country 
and owns a handful of malls under the Uptown name. I would like to thank everyone for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. It really helps me out and motivates me to produce more videos just like this. Also, I encourage you to comment and share this video to reach a wider audience. For our next mall video, we will be heading 60 miles west to check out the Mercer Mall in Bluefield, West Virginia. As always, have a good evening, you can call it the premiere, and I will see everyone in the next video. And make sure to stick around to the end to see some extra photos of the New River Valley Mall in its prime.